Hey, what's up everybody? Pat Flynn here. This is episode 31 of SPI TV. This is actually the very last video and that very last piece of content that you're gonna see here on Email Marketing Month here in October 2015 on SPI. Again, thank you for watching all these videos with me. I hope they've been very helpful. I've gotten a lot of great feedback already from people who've said they've enjoyed them. So thank you again. Now to finish off, we're gonna talk about email marketing segmentation. So taking the people who come onto your email list and how to divide them into different groups or buckets so that you can send emails specifically for those types of people. I'm gonna talk about why this is important, how to do it, strategies to make the most out of it, and more. So check it out here, episode 31. Okay, welcome to the inside of my autoresponder series. Again, I'm gonna be talking about how I've been able to segment my audience and to help you figure this out, I'm actually gonna give you a flow chart and then we're gonna go into my email service provider convert kit. I'm going to show you the exact emails that correspond to this flow chart and just to kind of give you an idea of what happens here and explain along the way how powerful this is. So of course, most of us, we have traffic coming to our website. And then on our website, we have some sort of sign up form where when people leave their name and or email or any other things that they want to leave or that you are requesting, they get put into kind of our main list. And this is our main bucket. There's a picture of there of somebody, a contact in our main bucket. And then what happens, our autoresponder series sends an email out immediately. Then X number of days later, email number two comes out. And then X number of days later, email number three comes out. And everybody who comes to our website, whether it's on a blog post or on the home page or on some other landing page, they get put into our main bucket. And then they get put into this autoresponder series. Again, a sequence of emails that you've already written ahead of time, which is a great idea because then you get to keep people engaged over time. You don't have to do any work because you put in that work up front. You could perhaps automate some responses from people in terms of what you want to get out of them to be able to include into courses or blog posts or what have you. But this is pretty standard and I've had this model, this model that you're looking at right here, for over five years, and it worked okay. I was able to build a list of over, of over 120,000 people uh, using this model, and they were all put on the same bucket. Well, there's some issues with that. The issue is not everybody's the same, and I found out through a recent survey that there are pretty much three different main groups of people coming to my website and consuming my information. Now, there, of course, could be a lot more, but based off of Ryan Levesque's book, Ask, it's good to narrow down the, quote, buckets in your audience to anywhere between three and five. It's gonna be hard to do that. You might need to leave a few people behind, but I've been able to break down and see through the survey responses that I have three different groups of people on my website. The first group of people are people who have yet to start any kind of business at all. They're on my site to learn how to do that, but for whatever reason, they have yet to start. Another third of my audience are people, actually, it's more than a third in this group, uh, about 40 to 50% of my audience, they have started a business, but they're feeling kind of stuck. They're making less than $500 per month. And again, the rest is everybody else. So that's how I've been able to break down my audience into these three different buckets. And for the series of this demonstration, let's call them bucket A, bucket B, and bucket C respectively. Bucket A being the people who have yet to start a business, bucket B for people who have started but they're stuck, and then bucket C for the people who are making over $500 a month with their online business. So in order to utilize this information on our email to be able to better serve them, those groups of people with specific emails related to that group, because when you think about it, let's, let's say somebody in the advanced group, you know, bucket C, they're gonna need information that's different than somebody who's just starting out, the people who are just starting out. And again, I know this through my survey, they're struggling with their mindset. They're struggling with their first steps. They're struggling with trying to, you know, organize all the options that are out there for them and what business to select. People who are more advanced might need help with pricing, search engine optimization, and other strategies like that. So the idea is to break down your audience into different buckets. And I'm gonna show you how I do that here with my autoresponder series in this flowchart. So let's say you have a bucket A page. This is a page specifically for people in bucket A. And this is something you can create on a landing page. Maybe you have lead pages or maybe it's a blog post or any sort of page on your site where the content is there for people in bucket A, where you know that if people enjoy the content and they get to the end of your post or they sign up on the sidebar there or you have some sort of incentive that is for people who are in bucket A, they're gonna sign up and you can automatically put them in bucket A. So the people coming to the site or to this particular page, if you will, for bucket A, 
they have tar- that they're essentially targeted traffic. You know the kind of person they are already at this point. You might have another one for bucket B. These, this is another post. For me specifically, it's a post for people who have started a business yet, but they're feeling kind of stuck. You know, how to get more traffic is something that's very common in this particular segment for me. And then there's bucket C page. Again, a landing page that's specifically for a lead magnet for people who are advanced in my audience. Maybe it's a blog post that's for more advanced people where if I were to collect somebody's information on that particular page, I would know that they would go into segment C and get emails that are related just to them. So what happens here? Well, the people who sign up for bucket A on bucket A page go down and join bucket A list. Same thing with bucket B, same thing with bucket C as you can see there. And then bucket A gets emails related to bucket A, bucket B gets emails related to bucket B, and bucket C gets emails related to bucket C. And that's what happens. Well, not everybody on your website, especially if people are on your homepage and they're visiting your site for the first time, they might not go through these targeted pages. They might not download your lead magnet or your incentive that's related to that particular person. So what happens to this middle list here? What happens to everybody else? Well, you bring them down this same sequence, except when they enter the main bucket, which is where probably most people are going to end up, email number one is a device you use to then segment people into either bucket A, bucket B, or bucket C. And of course, you might have more buckets. You might have only two buckets, but this is a great way for you to, using that main list, if they have not yet to be divided into a particular group or bucket, email one serves that purpose. If they don't subscribe to bucket A, bucket B, or bucket C, well, they get email number two, which again, serves the same purpose. They're gonna have options there to put themselves in one of those buckets. Email number three, same thing. And you're gonna keep bringing people down, providing value along the way, but also putting things in there where when people click on, they will be moved to one of those buckets. And I'll show you that inside my email responder uh, in just a second. The most important thing to look out here for is if you are segmenting your audience into different buckets, if they are on the main bucket and then choose to move to bucket A, bucket B, or bucket C, depending on their answer or their click or their action, you need to take them off of the main bucket so that they don't get asked to do that anymore because you're putting them in a particular segment. They've already shared that they wanna be in bucket A, bucket B, or bucket C, or what have you. So you take them off this list so they don't get any more emails where you're trying to to convert them to one of these groups because you've already done that. So just make sure you put those rules into place in your email service provider. And again, I'll show you how I do this in ConvertKit right now. Okay, so here we are at ConvertKit, my new favorite tool and addition to my email marketing arsenal, if you will. And I love ConvertKit because, well, you'll see how just beautiful it looks in terms of the UI and user design and just how plainly easy it is to use. But I'm a big fan of Nathan Barry, who's the owner of ConvertKit. He created this as a result of just not having any solution that was great for him and what he was doing as a digital marketer. And I absolutely love this. So if you want to check it out, smartpassiveincome.com slash ConvertKit will do the job for you. So smartpassiveincome.com slash convert kit. And yes, that is an affiliate link. If you go through that link and make a purchase and sign up, I do get an affiliate commission. Just wanna be upfront with that. And most of you know, I don't recommend anything that I don't love. And I'm sure you'll love this after you check it out if you are in need of something new for yourself. So once I sign in, you'll go into the dashboard and I'm not gonna give you a tour of convert kit right now because I've already done that for you in a previous episode of SPI TV. What I am gonna do is give you a tour showing you the things that related to that last form that I showed you. Now, currently, as you're looking at this, you'll see the forms that are available on my site where people can subscribe to. And with the exception of this book club one here, you'll see that all the forms here, the eBooks the Smart Way form, the newsletter on the about page form, the getting started page form, and then the site-wide newsletter pop-up, which is the one that most people see right now, they all drive people to a course or a, a series of emails called SPI Main. This is your main bucket, like I talked about earlier. I have yet to include specific lead magnets at the time of this recording. By the time this episode comes out, I believe I will have specific forms related to different lead magnets that drive people to a specific bucket, but I have yet to have that happen. But most of the people here come onto the main list. And I'll show you what that main list looks like right now. If I click on courses, and then I head to SPI main, you'll see a series of three emails here, and I believe I have them ordered the way I want them to. So the first email here that they get immediately, zero days after subscription, so whenever they subscribe on any of those ones that drive them to the SPI main list, when they're on that main bucket, this is the first email they get. 
It says, welcome to Smart Passive Income, important action required. So I make it really, really important for people to open. And I can actually check my reports here and see that there's an open rate of 71% on this email, which is fantastic, and a click rate of almost 50%, which is great. So let me go back to the content here. So it talks a little bit about you know entrepreneurship and what this site's gonna do for them and so on and so forth and why it's important to be on the list. But then right here, this is the most important part and, th and something you're welcome to take from me. Here I say, you know what? I'm gonna learn about you as I go, but you're going to have to help me out. Sometimes I may ask you to reply to an email, but most importantly, I need you to click on links that matter to you in the emails I send. That's it. If something is of interest to you or aligns with where you're at, click on that link. If not, don't click. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually training my audience to look for links that matter to them and click on those because when they click on those, you'll see, and I'll show you the automation rules I set up later in here in ConvertKit, you'll see that when they click on things, certain things happen. So here I simply ask, well, which is the, which of the following best describes your online business activity? Click on the one answer that best describes you. I don't have an online business yet for number one. Number two is I have an online business, but I'm stuck between zero and $500 per month. And number three, I have an online business that is generating more than $500 per month. So by now you should be able to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm using this very first email, like I said earlier, to put people into a specific bucket so they will get emails that matter to them. And I say that here, I wanna send you emails that's, that best suit you and I don't wanna give you emails that don't matter. So a lot of people have been clicking on these and depending on where they click, certain things happen. Well depending on which one they click on. And again, email two does the same thing. Email three does the same thing. It's sent one th or zero, three days after subscription and five days after subscription, talking about things in a different way, but always driving people to, well, which one are you? So that I can put people into a specific bucket. Now let me go back to the courses or the specific email sequences here, and you'll see I have the different buckets laid out here. Ignore this smart podcast player one, that's a separate thing. but. Level zero nurture, that's my bucket A. These are the people who have yet to start a business. Level one nurture, and I just call it nurture because I'm kind of just delivering value, educating, inspiring, um, entertaining them over time, and these will each lead to something at some point. Uh, level zero nurture, level one nurture, and level two nurture, and you can see each one has a different amount of subscribers. Open rates are above 50%, click-through rates are great, especially on this level zero one. Now I'm gonna take you into level zero, which is again, the people who have yet to start a business. And the first email they get is, future entrepreneurs read this. This is an email subject line that is tailored specifically, again, for the people who have put themselves in this bucket, whether it's through the main list and that email I just sent you where they click on that, essentially it's a survey, but then puts them here into the sequence, or they download something or somehow on the website express that they are bucket A or level zero nurture as we call it within our team. So these are the level zero people. They have no business yet, that's why we call them level zero, but we wanna put them into the levels above that. So in each of these emails, I give, it, give them uh, content, I deliver value, I have calls to actions to subscribe to certain things and listen to certain items that are gonna help them. And each of these emails are specific for people who are just starting out. For instance, this email here, I don't have any time is the email subject. And this directly relates to something I saw in a survey, which was one of the most common struggles with people who are just starting out at this level that they don't have any time. And I debunk that here in this email. So that's level zero nurture. Going back to the courses, level one nurture, these are content and, and, and emails that are related to them. So top three reasons online businesses fail. This one, how, let's check out the open rate for this one. 49%, which is great. Uh, and 59%, that one's actually doing really well. So what is that email? Content. Traffic generation, what's working today? So here I go over some tips on what's working with traffic generation today. And again, these are things that people who have a business but they're stuck can get benefit from. Uh, I'm still working on some drafts for here uh, for these ones. It's obvious after you hear it. How's that for, for a headline? And then course number three or bucket C, you know, if we're going equivalent to the to the thing earlier, uh, level two nurture. And I'm still working on these emails right now. I have a bunch of drafts set up, but I have these which are for people who have businesses already who are doing very well. And this is a super fast way to 2X your business. So that's what happens there. Now, let me go back to the forms. And again, remind you how people get from the SPI main list to one of these different level zero, level one, uh, level two, or different buckets. So that's where, and why I love ConvertKit the most, if you go to this automations tab, you'll see a place where you can add rules. Now, there's a lot of different rules here, but let me just show you how this works. Plus add rule or add rule. So this is really cool. The trigger is when this event happens, action, do this. So I can create a link, for example, 
And I can have a destination URL, place it goes to when people uh, click on that link, but what is the action when people click on that link? Well, they subscribe to a course. Well, which course? Level zero nurture. So I have a specific link in an email that when clicked on, puts them into level zero nurture or your bucket A. And that is the first answer in that three answer survey that I sent you earlier. There's also level one, level two. Uh, there's a lot of other different actions. Unsubscribe to a course, subscribe to a form. This is the one you would use unsubscribe from a course. You know, uh, you'd create a second trigger. So when people click on a particular link, they would also unsubscribe from SPI main. Because again, you wanna make sure they unsubscribe from that one where you're always asking people to uh, put themselves in a specific group. And that's how it works. And it's amazingly powerful. And I've seen so many, I, I, I'm gonna go on my Facebook page right now just to show you. So here is a post that I just put up. Been using my survey results and responses to help guide my email segmentation strategy, as well as the type of language I use inside these emails. The response so far has been amazing. Survey for the win and email segmentation. So here's a comment from Mikhail. I instantly loved it once I was specific to my current state of business. I loved my email as well. Felt like it was completely directed at me and touched on some things going on in my business. How awesome is that? Here is a Twitter comment that I pasted here to also talk about this on Facebook. Pat Flynn, are you already sending the more personal emails? The one tonight seemed to fit exactly what I was going through at the moment. And that's the power of putting people into these different buckets. Uh, and, and here's a final tip I wanna give you. So the first email that I have in level zero nurture, again, bucket A, here's a really cool thing to do, especially if you have survey results. So the very first email that anybody gets, no matter what bucket they're in, speak their language. And to start off, I say, dear subscriber name, Pat here, quick question, do any of the following statements reflect where you are right now with your desire to create an online passive income business? And each of these bullet points are the top items that people who answer the survey who are in this particular bucket have said that they're struggling with. And I just listed them out here. And I've gotten several responses from people saying, yes, how did you know? You were in my head, I felt like this email was just for me. I'm overwhelmed from all the information available to me. The fear of failure stopping me from moving forward. I just went down the list of the top things people said that they were struggling with and put them here. And what this does is when people see and open this email, when they've selected that this is the bucket that they're in and this is the first email they get, they're nodding along and they're saying to themselves, yes, I am in the right place. And they're gonna open more of your emails down the road. They're gonna take more action with you. They're gonna click on whatever it is you want them to click them on or click them through. And uh, it's gonna be a win. So email segmentation for the win for sure. Hope that gives you some inspiration in terms of what you can do to better serve your audience through understanding who they are, what the problems are, what their buckets are in your audience as well, and the language and uh, content you can use to help them down the road. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to Nathan Barry at ConvertKit as well again one more time and reiterate my affiliate link for that if this is of interest to you. So again, that's smartpassiveincome.com slash ConvertKit. So that kind of weird. Smartpassiveincome.com slash convert kit. Again, that's smartpassiveincome.com slash convert kit. So thank you so much. I appreciate you for checking in and, and I wish you all the best with your email segmentation. And if you have yet to subscribe to my list, head on over to smartpassiveincome.com. Find your way through whatever interests you. Subscribe there and I will take care of you in the best way I can through these emails and more. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for watching this video about email marketing segmentation. I recommend that you start out simple. That's again, the most important thing here. I tried to get too fancy in the beginning. I just got super overwhelmed. Try to keep it simple. Maybe you have products you're selling already. Just start with people who aren't customers and people who are, and that's all you need to know. And then you can move forward and start to segment based on a number of other factors that your audience might have from there. So again, thank you for watching this video and thank you for being a part of Email Marketing Month here on SPI. Again all the other videos that were posted, all the blog content, all the podcast content as well, was all about email marketing this month. And actually really quick, I'd love for you to send me some feedback. Send me a tweet, at Pat Flynn on Twitter. I'd love to know what you think about this sort of themed month here. We've never done that before, but we've had a lot of quests for something like it. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted to know what you think. So again, thank you for watching this. And also I wanna mention that you can head on over to emailthesmartway.com to get access to my free guide to help you best utilize that list that you've been building. Stop wasting your time and your money with, the, with you know, we all spend so much time building our lists and we read a lot of strategies and we implement a lot of strategies to build our list and increase conversions. But what happens when people get on that list? How do you best serve them? And how do you make the most out of that list you've been building? Well, head on over to email thesmartway.com. You can get access to, literally, it's pretty much a choose your own adventure book. You can pick a play, execute it, see the results. Check it out. 
email the smartway.com totally free. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. And I'll see you next month in the next themed month here on SPI TV, all about affiliate marketing. Can't wait. Bye.